Are we sitting in our new favorite spot? It's a little hiccup though for tomorrow. We're gonna end up on one of the influencers in the wild. No, thank <laughs> you. Like, at first I thought it said Sarah and I was like, oh, that was cute. Are those kisses? Oh, Good boy. No, no. Oh, you're She's sniffing. She's a sniffer. You're a sniffer. Good morning, Leo. Hi. Are we sitting in our new favorite spot? Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Good kiss. <laughs> right in my ear. I appreciate it so much. We just got back from a walk and it started pouring while we were walking. He's fine. He did not care. His fur is built for cold, damp. I mean, hell, he's pretty much built for snow as well. I am soaked and wet and cold, and I was gonna take a shower later, but I'm almost debating if I do it now. No, probably later, because I need to take him on another walk, and I'm just gonna run into this again. But it's supposed to be raining this weekend. It's supposed to be storming this weekend, so. <sighs> That's nice. Hi, can I help you? You enjoyed yourself. You were all about the rain. He was so happy. Spart would have been like, get us home immediately. But Leo was just thriving. Huh? He probably felt really good. But now you're a stinky wet dog. Yeah, you're, you're, you're kind of stinky. I can smell it. I just changed into one of my favorite rain outfits. It's just like this jumpsuit from Old Navy. They don't have it anymore, but it is the coziest thing ever. It does have a hood. But change of plans for today. Oh my god, he makes noises when he's dreaming, and it's just so cute. Sometimes he yips. One time, though, it was sad. He woke up and just cried, and I was like, oh my god, did he just have a bad dream? But anyways, <laughs> slight change of plans. All of sports at Trevor's school got canceled, so he's actually, like, five minutes away. I still do want to take Leo on a car ride. I'm waiting. I guess I'll ask Trevor when he comes home if he wants to come with us, but I definitely do have things that I need to get done today. I, like, literally have been saving all of my errands just doing like one or two errands every day so that i can take leo on a car ride and especially right now because it's raining he needs to have more activities than that one walk though that walk was like almost an hour so that was that was good but he still needs more than that and for the rest of the day it is pouring so there's no way we can do another our walk like if it was just misting or sprinkling i would be willing to because it actually wasn't too bad my hands did get cold from the wind but i had a puffer on so it wasn't too bad but when it's actually like straight up pouring that's gonna be an absolute no there's no way i'm walking for an hour in pouring rain that's not happening I feel like the whole vlog has taken place right here sorry guys we're gonna leave soon trevor has been home <laughs> and we've all been just kind of hanging out and he's actually leaving he's gonna go out with friends tonight so when he leaves then leo and i are gonna go run our errands huh we're gonna leave with death <laughs> but we are not gonna be going where he's going so you're gonna have to chill okay trevor only went upstairs to go shower and he's freaking out right now <laughs> relax just chill so we're gonna go do all of that tonight because i need coffee I mean, I have coffee pods, but I don't have the pods that I use for hot coffee, and it's going to be so cold next week. Yeah, I know. I'm sad it's going to be cold next week, too. But it's going to be cold and rainy next week, so I definitely want to have my hot coffee pods. And then I want to get him a Kong, because we're going to start trying to leave him by himself maybe like five, ten minutes at a time. So our trainer said to, like, do a Kong. Well, she said frozen peanut butter, but he's not a huge peanut butter fan. <sighs> 
Do you see the separation anxiety? He's not a huge peanut butter fan, so we're gonna have to do frozen Greek yogurt in there because he's a yogurt guy. So I need to actually also pick up more Greek yogurt. But there's this like shrimp ramen place. Like they specialize in specifically like ramen with some kind of shrimp, whether it's like a shrimp wonton, shrimp balls, actual shrimp on top. But there's a restaurant that I've been wanting to try. So I think I'm gonna go pick that up too because it's in the mall literally right next to where i need to go get my coffee pods so i'm gonna pick that up for dinner so that i can have like a nice cozy rainy night in with leo who is very busy over there ripping out the innards from this poor llama leo and i are on our outing running our errands first stop is gonna be phil's coffee i have been wanting phil's for a bit now. I haven't had Phil's in so long and I always forget that it's over here. So I'm like, first stop this time is Phil's. I'm getting a coffee, especially because like with Phil's, the coffee that I typically get from them, I prefer it hot. And most of the time when I'm in this area, for some reason, I just kind of want an iced coffee. So I never get Phil's, but since it's super fucking cold, and Phil's is here. I'm like, that's perfect. That works out beautifully. I just put my order in online. I have like 10 minutes or so. I can hang out here for a few minutes, then I will go pick up my coffee in a second. We're just gonna hang out, buddy. He's very intrigued. <laughs> There's people in the car next to us, and he is so intrigued by them. But anyway, so little hiccup though for tomorrow, but it's fine. It's fine. I really wanna do my tattoo with this artist because I've seen samples of his work and basically the tattoo that I want to do for Spartacus he's done pretty much exactly this tattoo like I've seen on his profile that he did one that is half the tattoo I want and then he did the thing that I wanted with it I don't want to like give away what it is he did the other thing that goes with it on a different person so it's basically I'm asking him to combine two tattoos he's already done and he is great so unfortunately what happened I'm not going to be getting it tomorrow, but I am going to be getting it on Sunday. I'm still getting it in this vlog. I had emailed him all of the stuff for it, and he emailed back and said, perfect, this sounds great. Does this date and time work for you? And I said, yes, absolutely. Sounds good. Just for my reference, can you let me know how much you think it'll be? And so he sent me a quote. Great. I thought we were booked and everything. It was just so unclear because like in my head, I had already said yes to it, and I just wanted the cost in just for reference and I just wanted the quote just for reference but I, I mean I can see it from his perspective um he was I, when I went to confirm it today he basically was like I didn't hear back from you about the quote so I didn't book you and I was like oh okay I was like well I had said yes I just wanted the quote for reference I didn't realize like that that was like a requirement because he didn't say anything he just said oh for this tattoo it'll be about this price range he didn't say like can you confirm let me know if you want to move forward so when I had said to the email before that yes that time works for me I'd like to take it I didn't think that we needed to discuss anything else but he was nice about it when I explained to him what I had seen from my perspective he was like oh my gosh I'm so sorry definitely a miscommunication because I even apologize on my end I'm like I'm so sorry like I thought that was me confirming he's like I'm so sorry I, I should have been clear so he's being very nice he's squeezing me in on Sunday so Trevor's gonna go with me to the tattoo I don't know what we're gonna do with this guy he still has not been left alone at home alone. We might just bring him and like leave him in the car. The tattoo shouldn't take that long. But yeah, so Trevor's just gonna go with me on Sunday to get the tattoo. Trevor and Leo, I guess. But either way, I'm getting the tattoo done. There was just, like I said, a little bit of a hiccup as far as confirming it. But I am grateful that he was nice enough to, hey, you know, acknowledge the miscommunication as, you know, I acknowledge it on my side as well. It was a very nice exchange and also nice enough to double check his calendar and see that he could still squeeze me in this week. I did appreciate that. So we're still getting it. It's just not going to be tomorrow. But Michelle and I are still shooting tomorrow because we both absolutely, well, first off, we, we just want to shoot. We haven't shot in a while and we could like use the content from back when we used to help each other out because I've definitely gotten good at shooting content with a tripod. I'm very comfortable with it. And then Trevor's also really, really super helpful whenever I need. But for anyone who does any type of you know content creation and stuff you know someone who also does content creation is gonna understand you the best not that like I said working with the tripod hasn't been good or not that Trevor's not helpful he is so so helpful and I'm always grateful for it when he can help but like I said it's just always nicer when it's you know someone who fully understands what's going on in my head so Anywho, that is the plan. Still shooting in orange tomorrow. Also, too, we wanted to definitely keep it because both of us have been so excited about ramen. 
<laughs> so there was no way we were not gonna shoot in orange this weekend. And then she's still down to absolutely come over and meet Leo. I like double checked. I'm like, are you still down to come over and meet him? And then she sent me back all caps, obviously. So yeah, we'll be hanging out with Michelle for a little while tomorrow. But okay, I think my coffee's ready. I'm gonna go in. You're gonna stay here and just hang out for a second. I won't be gone long, okay? I won't be gone long, sweet boy. <laughs> I wasn't, I know, I'll show, cause let me show them first. Okay, I wasn't gonna just do like an impromptu haul, but he's very interested in what's in the bag, so might as well. I got you a new toy, so first off I got him a fox, cause we all know I love foxes. Let me take off all of the, I know this is yours. Oof, gotta take out all of these little taggy things, and then you can have this. You just really get all up in my face, don't you? Here you go. That's yours. Take it. Take it. Take it. Go ahead. Take it. Put it in the back seat with you. Take it. Go get it. Get it. Get it. Go get it. <laughs> You're so intrigued by this. I know I would have taken you inside, but I had to go into Trader Joe's first. Okay. I'm just going to toss this back there. Just get, okay. Take it. Well, then take it. You just, you just want me to hold it while you nibble. Sir, can you get down? Go get it. Oh my god. I also got him, these were two for five, so I got him a parrot and a different color parrot. Also got him a Kong so we can start leaving him by himself. You will be fine. And then I picked up just this like small pack of just food for dogs. I was thinking if I like defrost like a little bit at a time, I can probably go ahead and put this on his licky mats as another option. And it comes in like a nice big block. I'd only use a little bit at a time, so this could last for a while. But that's what I got from there. And then from Trader Joe's, not a ton. Got one thing for me, just some more locks for my breakfast. This one is flavored with everything but the bagel. Then I also got some more plain Greek yogurt for him because he's out because he goes through it so fast. And then our trainer suggested goat kefir milk unsweetened. If you guys follow the BK pets on TikTok, they are dog nutritionists and they use this on their licky mats. So she was telling me she also follows them because I was like asking her about more suggestions for licky mats and she was like, oh, I really, really like this dog nutritionist on TikTok. And I was like, oh my God, is it the BK pets? And she's like, yes, exactly. So we were going through their videos the other night and she specifically pointed this out for him. Got that. It's a nice big bottle, which is good because it was kind of expensive. But the last stop that I need to make is at Bloomingdale's for two things. I need to go to the Nespresso bar to go get myself a refill on some pods. What are we doing? We're over the fox already? Okay. And then also there is a, I think I already told you guys, specifically the shrimp ramen place. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my order for pickup. I'm gonna get the prawn chicken wonton noodle with ramen noodles. Do I wanna add anything on? No, not really. So I'm gonna set this for pickup and this should be perfect because by the time I drive over to South Coast and then go to the Nespresso bar and stuff, I feel like my order should be ready. Yeah, it says 20 to 30 minutes. I literally just put the Petco bag down for a second when we got in so that I could put some stuff away. And he literally grabbed both of the birds out. Here is the soup. The noodles are kind of sticking together right now. I'm trying to get them to separate, but I'm still excited to try it. It just started me off because the broth is a little bit more fishy than I expected. On my way for Michelle and my first shoot in, I don't even know how many months. It's been a long time. Definitely since before her bachelorette party. It's just been crazy with like the wedding and then, you know, like the holidays and then, you know, Trevor and I were going through morning spart and stuff. So this has been the first chance that we've gotten to get back together and shoot some content together. So I'm excited. I'm not gonna lie. This is probably the laziest shoot I've ever done. Number one, didn't even freshly wash my hair. I actually liked the texture of my hair when I woke up and took it out of the bun this morning. So I just like doused it with a shit ton of dry shampoo. And then for my outfit, I actually got the viral Amazon jumpsuit that everyone's like going crazy over. I got it in black and I absolutely love it. I actually have it underneath all of this and I'm shooting three outfits total. This is the first and then the next two outfits are going to be the jumpsuit just styled two different ways. So I am being as lazy as fucking possible as far as the shoot day goes. Definitely just taking it easy, trying to get back into the groove of it. But honestly, so excited to get back to shooting. I've been missing doing it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've enjoyed the content that 
I've made lately, but it's always, like I had said yesterday, it's always nice to shoot with someone who has the same kind of idea going on in their head as far as like what type of footage or photos or whatever that you're trying to capture. I'm pulling up to the parking lot right now, but Trevor just texted me because when I left her, also decided to like leave just like for a few minutes to the liquor store because we're trying to get Leo better about separation anxiety. And he broke the blinds. <laughs> So, but Trevor and I bought those blinds. Those are not the originals. Like, we replaced them and upgraded them ourselves on our own dime. So, we're like, well, I guess we just have to replace them again. But, I don't know. To me, that's fine. Luckily, Leo is not purposefully destructive at all. Like, from what we can tell so far, he doesn't actively try to destroy things. He destroyed the blinds because he was jumping up on the window to try to look and see where we had gone. So it wasn't that he was actively tearing them apart. It was just like a byproduct of him not knowing where we were and not being trained to know not to jump on the blinds. So we're not mad at him about it. Honestly, if that's like the worst thing that he destroys, I am 1000% fine with that, you know? It could be a lot worse. Like he could try to tear apart the couch, but the blinds, that's fine. Easy fix, relatively inexpensive. Oh shit, Michelle just pulled up. Oh my God, you guys haven't seen her new car. I'm showing the vlog your new car. Actually, I haven't even seen inside. Oh, look at you. Very happy. <laughs> it's so nice. Thanks, Sylvia. <laughs> Honestly, and John. I'm like, I'm like <laughs> best. Thing ever. Yeah. It's so, oh my god, it still has like new car smell. Yeah. Hey, Chinese, everyone who comes in says that, but I can't smell it. I think because you're used to I'm it by it. now. But yeah. Like, oh, does yeah. it? Yeah, like, it does. Like food or anything? Oh man. Yep. Are you liking the reverse camera? Right? Right, right. It's like a bigger car. Too, yeah. Because like, my other car was, even though it was wide and like for it being a small car, yeah. my windows were really big. So I yeah. could see really well. Even in this car, I feel like my windows are so much smaller. Like, I Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, it's like super slanted here. It's so like far down. So there are like times where I'm like, don't even look back. I'm just like. Oh no, I do that too. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I mean, trust. you just kind of have to like, you don't have to turn all the way back. You just have to kind of like look, glance yeah, to the sides like a little bit. Because sure, it can only like go. Yeah, safe. it's actually why I won't drive Trevor's car because his car, his car's even bigger than it your is. car and it doesn't have mm. any backup stuff. So yeah. I'm like, no. I know, I think it's like anything. I'm like, once I park your car, it's, it's staying there. <laughs> I'm not backing you yeah, up. I'm going to park it. In fact, I'm going to honk and you're going to come out and park <laughs> yeah, it for me. Exactly. <laughs> we are freezing right now and we both have like a layer underneath this. It's like, oh, probably 40 degrees. <laughs> I'm sure we're being so dramatic. Yeah. It's like 62. It's also sunny. <laughs> <laughs> I know, the, we got a break in the rain and we're like, oh my God, we're so cold. You know what's terrible about California rain though is like, it'll be raining and it's sunny. So on the freeway, all the reflection of the oh, sun on the yeah. water and it was raining so hard. I was like, did I hit anything? Yeah. I don't know why I'm walking this way. This I don't is like know. Our... We can kind of... We're trying to take advantage of the fact that right now, since it's not raining, we can shoot not in the parking structure. Yeah. So this will probably be the furthest out that we shoot. I think like it's supposed to be not raining for like from one to like three. Oh, that's... Oh, wow. That's perfect. Maybe. That's the case. We'll, so we'll see. Yeah. Just finished our second looks. We're just... I'm feeling really big. Feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Should but we... I'm in... I'm just in this jumpsuit for the rest of the time. I'm just gonna swap out the jacket and the boots. Yeah, I just, I changed my pants. <laughs> but I have leggings on under my jeans. Oh, perfect. Okay, okay, let's go down and yeah. pass because everyone is being rude. Super chaotic. We just wanna, <laughs> look at this. I'm sick of it. See, see, this is a close set. It's our first date. <laughs> <laughs> first day. We're already, already annoyed with our first date. I swear to God, someday we are going to show up with cones and just start I roaming work. on the I don't want to get cones. <laughs> so we're going to end up on, what is it, influencers in the wild. No. Like these bitches. You know what's like, funny is, on the street. when these kids walked by and they watched this earlier, I was like, please don't record it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Whatever. Put me on TikTok or on influencers in the wild. That's how I know I've made it. <laughs> we're coming. <sighs> Why is everyone so rude? It's definitely not a crosswalk, but didn't they just change the law on jaywalkers in California? Yeah. Like they had the right of way now? No, no, no. They wait. I think jaywalkers had the right of way. They didn't I thought before. that they always did. No. Oh. That's why you would get fined. Oh. Now jaywalkers have the right of way. I'm pretty sure that just. Mm. What? We're doing it. We're exercising. <laughs> I don't know if it went into pass. It could be like in 2024 or something. 
<laughs> we're all assuming. All right, we're inside Michelle's car. I'm in the driver's seat right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoops. There are my earrings. Oh. <laughs> she wanted to shoot her look in here, so I'm like, that's fine. Because it is. It works out. It's totally raining. Look at this. I don't, I, by the way, I can't see. You guys are Check up, Sarah's but. latest TikTok. <laughs> Oh yeah, Try. we tried Before to film a TikTok and uh, it started, we, well we filmed two TikToks, one for her, one for me. It was fine during her TikTok and of course when mine went, it starts raining. And, and that like, was like, we had the raining. hardest time with the phone for whatever the yeah. phone was like, no, I'll start now. Yeah, exactly. After this, we're getting ramen at our favorite ramen I'm place. So it's excited. So I don't it's think so I'm going to change. No, I'm not going to change either. I, I was going to say, I can go straight. I'm, yeah. I'm in like a full rain outfit right now. I think I'll just come back and get my big bag because okay. it has all my cameras and everything in it. Got it. Did you want to shoot this in here and somewhere else? I did want to shoot in here and somewhere else. Okay. So I could do, you know what? I could do the other look at the ramen. Oh, okay. Oh, like, did you have another look besides this? No. No, oh. I mean, like, I mean, I could shoot my second part of this. Oh, like, got it. At got the it. ramen place. I was just saying, I'll just shoot mine. This one? Right, right there? Right here. Yeah. yeah. I could shoot, or like, maybe at ramen, like in front of the ramen place. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. Okay. I don't okay. know how I'm even going to look. Okay. And this oh, one, yeah. if I you don't like it, so. <laughs> so it just like started downpouring on my last outfit, which was fine. I was shooting with my umbrella, so it's all good. I have my umbrella here. But it's pouring now, and we still have to go walk to Ronnie. So I don't know how this is gonna work out, but the good news is we will very much be in the mood for a hot bowl of ramen by the time we get there. Michelle's gonna change because she had on like sneakers and stuff, and her feet were getting soaked, so. She's just changing really quick. This is a full rain outfit. I have on my rain boots and then my Sherpa jacket that also has a hood and then my umbrella. I would love thicker, warmer pants, but right now it's fine. Also of note, I was originally supposed to laminate my eyebrows last night. I'm so glad that I didn't. It would have been a waste because I've had water splashing on me from all this rain. So it would have just like completely ruined the lamination so it's a good thing i got lazy last night i mean they're still cooperating somewhat well i mean they're staying up so they're fine it's not dire that i laminate them right now so that totally worked out that i didn't there she is <laughs> run I feel like it just might be worse in here because it's all pooling right there. I can't let him take my soul. So Michelle apparently has a birthday gift for me that got crushed in her purse. Yeah. That's what you've missed so far. It's because water. Thank you. Oh, thank oh, you. Thank you so much. I didn't wrap it just it's, it's been chaotic. No, that's okay. I got the wrapping today. <laughs> I've had it for a while. Oh, thank you. You did not have to get me anything. Are you proposing? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take as long as the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Nate. He like proposed and married you and they're still shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I know, even she makes like speech was like, we did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Oh, did it flip over? Yeah, it did. <laughs> Come back! Oh, I love this! Oh, thank you! <laughs> I, at first I thought it said Sarah, and I was like, oh, that Oh, you guys, I don't know how well you guys can see it, because it's small, but it says Spark. Thank you so much! Yeah, I know, I like got it before everything happened. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. because we knew about his help and yeah. stuff like that. Thank you, I'm gonna put this on. So I was like, Aww. Yeah. And then I get his tattoo tomorrow. I know. I know. See, we was cool right before I hit the fence. But he hit the fan when I got him down and pinched. But I took a break, I had to leave and go get cleansed. God forgive me for all my sins. I can't say these hoes cause my last name ain't Kent. Cooking on the stove, that's the way he paid the rent. Working on the pole, that's the way she pays the wish. Better watch your soul, cause you know they trying to get it. Yeah, yeah. I learned my right from wrong on a song. I let my heart bleed on my sleeve through microphones. I'm trying to write my wrongs, by writing out my wrongs. Ran through a check, cause it's hard to live off bread alone. So if you see me slipping, yeah, yeah, let me know. Cause it ain't the end of the day. Alright, we just finished. We're full, but not too full for pie. Oh, I'm so glad it isn't raining like I know. crazy. I know, now the sun's out, but this place is right next to the pie hole, so we're gonna go get dessert. I also got Trevor <laughs> some rolls. I know. It would be us if we didn't get dessert. <laughs> you know what we haven't done?
done a shoot day in a while, so you know it's like it's yeah. like a go big no situation. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's it crumble. <laughs> well, they're already cut with mine. Oh my God. <laughs> So, so I will also send you the gift card <laughs> so that you can get a couple Six. with it. That's Six. not for you, sirs. Oh, this is oh is it kisses? Off. Are those kisses? <laughs> Good boy. No, nice. Oh, you're a sniff. You're a sniff. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Thank you. <laughs> you're so welcome. So we took him on like a 45 minute walk. We actually walked him all the way to the park and let him sit around there and he is super pooped. I'm watching Babylon right now and Trevor's cooking me lunch and it's so good. I'll show you guys in a second when he comes here with it. So Trevor made a swordfish with like a lemon butter sauce. Looks so good, babe. Thanks. Thank you. All right, so then that mm. one's yours if you don't mind yeah, the- I don't mind the skin, thank you. Yum. Just unboxed. Oh my god, please stay, don't fall. Just unboxed. Watch out, Leo. This top from Amazon. It's so cute. I think I want this in more colors, but it's like this fitted long sleeve top. I just need more plain long sleeve tops. I only have, well, I have like a decent handful, but they're all the same colors. They're white, brown. I think I have like one gray and then black. And I have so many of those, and I was like, I need some in other colors. So this is kind of like an olive green army green kind of color it's got a seam down the front but the material is really nice it's like super supportive you definitely don't need a bra with this like it is holding everything up it's kind of like that kind of shapes a little bit it is a long shirt it goes like all the way down so if you're looking for long sleeve shirts that aren't crop tops this is definitely a good one but yeah this is cute i think i'm just gonna wear this today we're heading out of here in maybe an hour or so so that i can go get my tattoo for spartacus mr leo is gonna come with us he's just gonna hang out in the car i was gonna put some like makeup on or something but i'm honestly just like I don't feel like it right now, so I'm just gonna go like this and just like throw on a sweater or something over top and luckily the sleeves aren't too tight so I can roll it up because I do want to get Sparts tattoo right here on my forearm. I'm really excited for this tattoo. I've known that I wanted to get this tattoo for him for probably a couple years. Before he got diagnosed, I was planning on getting it around my birthday, but you know, unfortunately things happened. He got diagnosed with cancer and Basically all of our resources went to keeping him as comfortable as possible and stuff. So getting a tattoo at the time wasn't practical, but I feel like now is definitely like the right timing for it. So I'm excited to get it. I'm excited for you guys to see what it is. It's definitely like the perfect one for him. I've been wanting to get it for a couple years, but I had been like brainstorming tattoos for him for a little while before that. And when I thought of this one, I was like, that is absolutely perfect. So it's much later, Trevor's already gone to bed after we got my tattoo. We got takeout from our favorite Peruvian restaurant. It's Inca Mama's in Santa Ana. I've taken you guys there so many times, but yeah, we just brought home some food, ate and watched The Last of Us in 1923. But I will go ahead and show you guys the tattoo. It is wrapped up in second skin right now. So I have to leave it on for, I think like, five days or so he said three to five days or once it starts turning itchy here it is it's not like super clear because of the second skin but you guys can see it says excuse you sir which i'm sure you guys remember it was sports game back in the day for dinner i have found myself saying it for leo so i'm sure he'll learn that game but at the end of the day this game always started with spart no matter how many dogs i play it with at dinner time it will always be sparts game and then he did an amazing job detailing his ears when he walked out with a sketch of it i was just so misty i was like in tears because it's 
it was perfect. He really captured Sparks' ears. Like, I don't even know how he did it because it's a drawing, but like, they still look really floppy and stuff. And it's just such a perfect drawing of it. Sorry, this is like such a weird angle, but yeah, I'm like, I'm really, really happy with it. This is the exact placement I wanted, everything, the exact font. I specifically wanted a fine line tattoo, and I researched fine line tattoos here in Orange County. I went through so many different tattoo artists' portfolios looked at so many different shops and this one is in orange it's called moto ink the artist that i went with was damon because on his instagram he specifically shows fine line tattoos that he's done of dog ears so i knew that he could do it i knew that he could specialize in it and then he's also got a few like quotes in like a script writing this is a specific script called moonlight it's actually the font that i use for a lot of like current branding on youtube so i thought it was appropriate to use my regular branded fonts for my youtube channel during the era that spark was really showcasing a lot. I'm so happy with it. I love it. He even got like the little wrinkles on his forehead and everything. He got like the details inside his ears. It's just it's absolutely perfect and it feels like I just like get to have Spark close to me forever so I love this tattoo it's hands down my absolute favorite one I've got Spark here and I've got Pip over here and I think this was tattoo number 12 11 or 12 12 I think. But yeah, super happy with it. Glad that I got it. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I'm gonna start uploading all of this because this guy back here is very tired and definitely wants to go to bed soon. But I need to start compressing all of these clips before we can do that because he also needs to go potty before we go to bed. So I will see you guys in the next vlog. I'm gonna fly you